So we should be opened up to page 351 in our religion books. Today, as I was just saying, we will be attending Ash Wednesday Mass a little later this morning. So we are going to give ourselves a little refresher. Now, as you can see in the picture on page 351, do you see how um, the boy there is kind of having ashes put in the shape of a cross on his forehead? Yep. Yeah. So that's what usually happens during Ash Wednesday. You go up and you receive an Ash Wednesday blessing. And when you receive that blessing, then um, the priest or um, whoever is giving you the ashes, they make the sign of the cross on your forehead and you just wear it like that all day. You carry that blessing with you all day. Now this year, because of COVID, like I mentioned, we're most likely going to have just a little sprinkling of ashes placed over our heads. Um, and this is a way for us to still carry the blessing with us all day. However, then our priests and everyone else isn't having to touch the foreheads of every person in our school um, and possibly maybe spread, spread germs. Yeah. Um, it's amazing how different things are with COVID, but I'm really happy that we can still participate in Ash Wednesday um, pretty normally. So we're going to read a little bit about Ash Wednesday today. Who can read our faith focus question? Will. What can we do as a sign of turning away from sin and back to God? So I want you to think about that question as we're reading, because I'm going to ask you it again once we are done. All right. So Ash Wednesday, who can read that first paragraph really nice and loud for us? Zoe. The season of Lent is developed in the early church as the final period of pre pre preparation. 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 Preparation for people who wanted to join the church. They had spent time learning what it meant to be followers of Jesus. They had practiced the traditions of prayer, fast, prayer fasting, mm -hmm. and almsgiving as all of Jesus' followers did. Finally, after two or three years of preparation, preparation, they were welcomed into the church at the Easter event. Awesome. So part of Ash Wednesday is this season of Lent is like a season of preparation for people who want to join the Catholic Church. Who can read that second paragraph nice and loud for us? Max. Today is the season of Lent. It's a special time of preparation for people who want to join the church. The whole church shares in preparation of real life. I will call to be prepared for the elections to be the final period of preparation for baptism. Fasting, prayer, and all in the beginning are doing good. Nice. So that's why even if you've already been baptized as a Catholic, um, you still follow the same kind of preparations during the season of Lent. You are setting that example for people who want to join um, our religion. Who can read the third paragraph for us nice and loud? Drew. Likewise, the life has an important role in the lives of the members of the church. Their desire to become united with Christ and this church should awaken us a deeper desire to live and live our faith every day. Awesome. You know, sometimes you kind of get set in your ways when it comes to your faith. So during the Lenten season, you see all these people wanting to join your religion. It usually kind of awakens in you like, oh, yeah, that's why I really love my faith. You know, they're going through this for the first time and being able to see people go through things for the first time can kind of remind you of why you love something. All right. Our fourth paragraph, nice and loud for us. Michael. The period of preparation of Easter begins on Ash Wednesday. The ashes are traced on our foreheads and remain remind and us remind us that Jesus calls us to turn away from sin and devote the six weeks of praying, of praying, fasting, and doing works of charity. These are called dis the disciplines the disciplines of Lent. They help us to turn our hearts toward the sacrifice of Jesus so that we can experience the joy of Easter. This change of heart is called converse, conversion. Conversion. So if you hear Father talk about conversion at Mass today, that's what he's talking about. Us turning our hearts um, to praying, fasting, and doing those works of charity. 
And who can read that final paragraph for us nice and loud? Allison. As the ashes are blessed on us, when do we say, oh God, who we are moving with acts of humility and respond to forgiveness through works of penance. Of penance. Lead your merciful ear to our prayers. Ask when the blessing and distribution of ashes on us. Roman Muslim. Um, so we will hear, and we might not be able to hear it very loud, depending on if Father has his microphone turned on or not, but he will bless the ashes before they are sprinkled on our head. So when you see him maybe um, saying something to himself and he might be um, kind of putting holy water on the ashes, that is what he's doing. He's blessing the ashes. So then that blessing is transferred to us when we receive the ashes. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, so today is Ash Wednesday. It's the beginning of our Lent. Um, we are going to talk about in a moment what our final decision is for what we're giving up and starting to do for Lent. You've kind of had some time to talk about that. But I want us to first answer that faithful focus question. What can we do as a sign of turning away from sin and back to God? Why don't you turn and talk with the people around you first? What can we do to show that? So for Ash Wednesday, we'll be on our forehead. So we're on our heads. We'll be on our heads because they're trying to avoid like one person touching the face of multiple people because of COVID. Yeah, we know we won't be touching people. Could it be on our forehead though? It might a little bit, but I think they're just gonna try to get right on top of our heads. That way, it's not like falling off. It could get in their eyes. That would hurt. Raise your hand if you have an answer to that question. What can we do as a sign of turning away from sin and back to God? What can we do? Michael. Instead of sinning and you are just me just in front of this, yeah. instead of like sinning, you could just um like Say you're really beating up your siblings, and then instead of doing that, you should start praying with them. Like maybe before you go to bed, you say a prayer. Or when before you eat, you say a prayer. Yeah, you could pray with them mm -hmm. um, for, and that's like showing how the sin away from to back to God. Awesome, and I saw that Richie had a connection to that. That's great. What else, Max? Are you raising your hand or stretching? You're stretching. What else can we do to show that we're turning away from sin and back to God? What else can we do? Some good things. Mackenzie? Donate like stuff that you don't use anymore. Yes. How many of you in your house, spring is kind of that time of year when you and your family donate things or do like clean and go through things to donate. It's really cool how that happens to coincide with Lent because Lent goes all the way up to Easter and Easter's in the spring. So it's usually around that time. And part of that is because it's the Lenten season, especially if you live in a Catholic household. Um, is there anything else that we can do um, as a sign of turning away from sin and back to God? Allison. Praying. Praying, always, definitely. And it doesn't even have to be a specific kind of prayer every day. It can just be a conversation with God, right? Max. Just going to Mass. Just going to Mass. I know in our family, um, my brother would do basketball. He'd do winter and spring basketball. And so those weekends when he had tournaments, it would be sometimes hard for us to make it to Mass, but we made sure whenever we were able to that we made it a priority to go to Mass. So um, God understands, I think, those times when you can't make it to Mass, but as long as you're still keeping it a priority, that's a really special way of showing that you're turning away from sin and back to God. Okay, um, I would like you to turn and talk with the person next to you. What is your for sure thing that you're giving up during Lent? And what is the for sure, for sure like thing you're starting to do? Giving away ice cream. Ice cream for my own. 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 Ice cream for my
What is that? Yes. 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 That's yeah. what do you want for dinner? That's yeah. the weekend before yeah. Easter. Yeah. Yeah. The weekend before Easter, yeah. Yeah. Easter yeah. Mass, you receive. Yeah. Or you could uh, you could give out Star Wars. Like yeah. Grayson, yeah. Grayson, yeah. Grayson yeah. cannot yeah. give out Star Wars. Bro, he could try to give out Star Wars. Yeah. He's such a good yeah. 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 I can imagine Grayson giving up Star Wars and sitting on the X like. No, he would honestly just be like, be like, he'd be like, I don't want Star Wars in two days. Alright, well, um, can we give a pony? Yes. No. Can we do well, a you could if you just really work hard to get it all done at school. Yep, that's it. I'm giving up homework. So, what you give up is supposed to be a sacrifice. Not something that makes your life easier. It should be a little hard. Um, so, so, um, did any of you, did any of you really like what your partner shared that they were either going to give up or start doing? Yeah. Yeah. Would anyone be willing to share what their partner shared? All right. Voices off. Drew. An hour of electronics, I think it was. An hour of electronics, Senna. Awesome. That's great. Well, like Allison said, she was going to give up dessert. Dessert. Okay. Um, Zoe. Max said that he was going to give up chocolate and then he was going to start being nice to his parents. Nice. Great. Frankie? Uh, Mackenzie said he was going to. Uh, give up YouTube. Oh, okay. Mackenzie. Frankie said he's gonna give up ice cream. Mm -hmm. Allison. Who else is giving up all video games? Wow. What? Okay. Yeah, well, how are you okay. Okay. Yeah. It's supposed to be a little difficult. That's good. Hey, hey what's this? Yes, yes. Uh, Ricky said the same thing as well. Same thing as well. Oh wow, you guys. Oh Chanel. Ella said she'd only do 30 minutes of electronics, and I think she said she'd start like helping the third floor. Yeah. Awesome. You guys, those are all great. Um, we're going to do check-ins throughout the season of Lent to just kind of see where you're at with what you've given up and what you're starting to do. Um, just know if you mess up a little bit. Um, let's say it's a Friday and you're eating dinner and you're through your second slice of pizza when you realize there's sausage on it. Um, <laughs> God will forgive you. You just take that time to ask for God's forgiveness and then remind yourself why you give up meat or why you're giving up the thing you're giving up or why you're starting the thing you want to start. Because by reminding yourself of why you're doing it, you're going to be more prone to continue doing it throughout the rest of Lent. If you just are like, oh, God will forgive me, you're probably going to do it again. This is supposed to be meaningful. So reminding yourself, this is why I'm doing it, that will help you stick to what it is you're giving up or starting to do. Michael. Who do you think, how, what do you think God think was worse of him being betrayed? If you accidentally eat a full steak at Friday dinner during Lent, or if the disciples went from this God from the other God. Which one I think it completely depends on their hearts. If they were truly sorry for what they had done. Right? I think that's all that matters to God. Is that you truly are sorry for whatever it is that you've done wrong. Yeah. It doesn't matter the act. It matters what you do after it. Because we have a forgiving I mean, of course, the act matters. But God really pays attention to how we react to it. Layla. Oh, um. Can we still eat meat on um, Wednesday? So, not this Wednesday. This is the only Wednesday where you're not supposed to eat meat because we're celebrating Ash oh, Wednesday. Shoot, we're Every other dinner. Wednesday throughout Lent, you can eat meat. It's just on Fridays. So, this week, it'll be Wednesday and Friday that you're trying not to eat so meat. Like then, throughout the rest of Lent, it's every Friday. Okay? 
Oh, no. Voice is off. We have one more question before we end religion. Zoe. Um, I'm going to my dad's house on Friday, mm -hmm. and they were planning on having like some Polish sausage. Yeah. And I'm I'm only allowed to use on the menu. Sure. So like, do I just like not eat? This is what I would recommend doing. Um, because at mom's house, mom tries to kind of follow those Catholic rules during Lent a little bit better. Maybe at mom's house, you guys pick your own day of the week when you can give up meat. If you know on some Fridays, you're going to be at dad's house. Okay, so maybe at mom's house, you guys come up with your own schedule of what day you're not going to eat meat. Does that make sense? Well, like I said, like when I was answering Michael's question, it, the act, of course, matters, but it's how you react to it. So by knowing, you know what, when I go to dad's house, maybe he's not Catholic um, and he's not going to follow that. So what can I do to kind of still stick with what we want to do during Lent without, you know, not eating at my dad's house, you know? So you could, yeah, I would go home and talk to mom about that. And then you guys can come up with a plan. Yeah, good question. And that goes for all of you. Um, if you know... Oh my gosh, it's Friday. I'm supposed to go to this birthday party and we're having pizza and they're not ordering cheese. Then maybe you come up with, okay, instead on Thursday, I'm going to make could sure I don't. Could you just so the you could, but any kind of example like that. Um, if you visit a friend's house on Friday and you're eating dinner with them and they cook no, like chicken or something, then you can maybe on Saturday or Sunday say, okay, for dinner, I'm not going to eat meat since I had to eat meat on Friday. So Whatever is within your control, okay? It yeah, it happens sometimes. All right, nice job today. I'm going to stop our recording.